Manchester City. Why they can win it? England's champions select have the bit between their teeth in Europe this season. Their attacking brilliance is long established, but they have added greater defensive solidity with only four goals conceded in their 12 games played so far. If overcoming their quarter-final hoodoo was a boost to their self-belief, the manner of their semi-final triumph against Paris has surely banished any doubts about City's ability to go all the way. Campaign so far The most telling point about City's group stage campaign was that it ended with the competition's best defensive record, with just one goal ship following Ruben Dyer's arrival to join a revitalized John Stones in central defense. After winning Group C, they posted home and away wins against both Gladbach and Dortmund. Before sealing their place in the final with two magnificent victories over 2020 finalist Paris. Key player City have an embarrassment of riches but De Bruyne remains their creator in chief. His elegance, vision and immaculate passing range, not to mention his driving runs and spectacular finishing, make him one of the most enjoyable players to watch in world football. Talking tactics. Joseph Guardiola has used a false nine system to great effect this season with Riyad Mahrez, Phil Foden, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne and even Gundogan all taking turns as the spearhead of City's attack. Having suffocated opponents thus far with their relentless pressing and clockwork passing, the citizens are unlikely to change their approach in Porto. As Guardiola said, we are used to playing a certain way, we cannot do it differently. Chelsea why they can win it still beaten only four times since thomas tuchel took charge chelsea really are starting to gel under their german coach if the friend players can continue their progress of the past few months there's nothing and no one for chelsea to fear they changed manager mid season when they won this trophy in 2012 so who's to say lightning won't strike twice the recent wins against city gives them further reason to believe campaign so far An almost flawless group stage founded on a solid defense and the record-breaking Edward Mendy in goal set Chelsea on their way. They were seldom threatened by the much-wanted Atletico in the round of 16, then saw off battling Porto before overcoming 13-time champions Real Madrid in the last four. Who's in charge? The first man to lead two different clubs to successive UEFA Champions League finals, Tuchel has been a revelation since his January appointment. He won back-to-back titles in France with Paris and reached the final last season, having had success in Germany with Dortmund prior to that. Talking tactics. Chelsea will approach the final as they have done every other game under Tuchel, by being hard to break down at the back and waiting for chances to come at the other end. City will be favorites, but Tuchel has already beaten them twice in recent weeks. The FA Cup semi and the Premier League encounter in Manchester. And he will treat this the same way. The manner of their victory against Madrid shows their mettle that's for sure.